You got diagnosed with polio at 13 years old. Mm -hmm. It was the talk of the town when he got wow. polio. He was so thin. This is kind of emaciate you. Meeting each other, was there like a hallmark moment that you're like, ah, that was the moment. We had mutual friends. They kept saying how they liked you. Yeah. So it made me start paying more attention to him. Did you guys have air conditioning back then, by the way? No. no. You didn't have air conditioning? No, we didn't have air conditioning. What? Hey, before we get started, please go ahead and leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. It would mean the world to us. Seriously, it goes a long way. And let's get on with the episode. What's, What's up, dudes? dudes? And welcome back to the Unplanned Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we have some very special guests. It took a lot of convincing. These were the hardest guests <laughs> that we have yet to get on the show, honestly. <laughs> We have my very own grandma and grandpa here with us, everyone. Ooh. Vicky and Terry, thank yeah. you for being here. Good to be here. Yeah. Thank so, you. so happy Good to have to you here. here. You, I, I just love going to visit you guys because you're just so pleasant to be around. Um, well, so I got to tell so you. more often. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to. We definitely well, need to. you have to hear this. Matt did tell me. I was like, Matt, who's my fav your favorite family member of mine? He said, without hesitation, he said, Vicky. Oh, wow. I'm so humbled <laughs> and you guys I call my grandpa papa I have since I was since you could talk since I could talk <laughs> um but yeah some backstory on like my relationship with my grandparents is that I feel like I'm way closer with you guys mm -hmm. than I am with like than most people are with their grandparents like you guys oh. pretty much kind of raised me in a way oh we loved I tell you those years precious years oh they were <laughs> because they're over but yeah oh but now you're a great grandma That's and right. you get yeah. to live them again with griffin and you guys are yeah. in amazing shape grandma goes to the gym four times a week that's well, incredible and oh i take gosh. her and grandpa takes her, <laughs> grandpa takes her. Well, really... do you work out four times a week grandpa uh not quite <laughs> it works out twice I a week. I really only yeah. work, really work out twice, but I go there to walk sometimes when it's cold. Hey, that's a workout? That's awesome. That Something I admire about you guys, you take frequent trips to the grocery store just as a way to get out. <laughs> we love and, it. Yeah. And do a little excursion Anything every to get day. out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> that's so fun. He, and he drinks chai tea lattes. Yeah, Papa goes to, well, let's give him a shout out, Carter's oh. Coffee in my hometown, Quincy, Illinois, and they have a, many locations now in the whole surrounding area. Yeah. Um, it's a great small business that Papa it supports is. every single morning, and I actually get DMs from workers at this coffee shop. <laughs> They're like, I see your grandfather every morning. He always gets a chai, yeah. skinny chai. Yeah. I love that. Papa actually went with me to get a chai today before we filmed yeah. this, and... We went pretty much Quite Timbuktu. <laughs> we could not find this coffee shop. And then we got locked out everywhere. Couldn't park. It took forever for the lockdown. Oh, my god! They were delicious. You but guys took were. the longest excursion today to get coffee. I think you were we gone almost two hours. To we, go faster because we went down a one-way street the wrong way. and we, Papa said that was the only time we didn't have any traffic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> when we were going the wrong way down a one way it was a whole adventure but honestly it was great because we just want to spend some time yes, together me and it Papa. was fun Very so fun. something something that's so cool about you with your grandparents abby is you have the closest relationship with them yes like, i never got to experience that because i never even got to meet one of my grandparents my grandma passed like 10 years before i was born and then my grandpa lived in another state and then my other grandpa also lived in another state and um, my grandparents were all separated, but you know, all your grandparents were together mm -hmm. and going to their house every, was it Friday or Saturday Yeah, night? every Friday. Friday night. My friends knew growing up too. They'd be like, Abby stays with her grandparents on Friday <laughs> nights. Like we're, we're not having a sleepover. Yeah. But like through high school, every Friday night, I mean, there was I less and less yeah. as I got older. Right. Sometimes I was doing stuff, but even through high school, every Friday night, Saturday morning, we had blueberry Hot waffles, chocolate. Swiss Miss sugar-free. <laughs> And the log cabin syrup, sugar-free yeah. also, yeah. right? And we just had like all these sweet traditions. Remember when we'd, we'd always convince Papa to go to the arcade or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, at, my at land. Mall, and yeah. you also convinced him to buy you some very expensive boots once at the department store. <laughs> they were from Justice. They were sparkly. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The leathers. Yeah. Well, we got two pair of shoes that day, if you recall. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't know how I convinced you, Papa. Yeah. Well. Oh, you always could convince. <laughs> you were putty in his hands. But I'm I'm jealous, honestly. Like that's so so cool. Well, that and you got we'd to spend have... every Sunday lunch with them and pretty much the rest of the day on Sunday. They went mm -hmm. to well, Wednesday nights you'd take me to church. Like every 
I'm pretty sure that we would see you like pretty much every day of the week, a lot of the times. Mm-hmm. Like maybe not Mondays Just and Tuesdays nights and Friday. But then you and, went to all my events, all my sporting games, all my shows. Oh, yes. But Everything. it just it just makes sense, Abby, because you say all these quirky things. Like, you say narts. You say... <laughs> they don't uh, say narts. Jiminy Christmas. You say, like, so many... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hecky is that what you used to say you well, had all these funny sayings when we first started dating when okay. we first started dating each other I was like blown away by all these funny sayings you had and I think you picked them up from your grandparents I 100% did well, we picked yeah, them yeah. up from our parents and their <laughs> Papa you've got some good ones what are yours don't give me that who shot John who shot John, <laughs> who shot John? that's <laughs> John? my favorite does anybody know that saying who shot John you know? Abby yeah, always says that we looked it up that. we looked it up it's, it's real they're valid you yeah. guys didn't realize it but they're valid <laughs> no I I'm the one defending you guys I say I'm in front of our friends and they're like what what did you just say? So now some of our friends literally, my nickname is John around them because of that. They I'm like, Abby that's John. some who shot John. Yeah. Or, I don't know, you have a bunch of sayings. What would you say to me? You said, don't shoot a gift horse in the in mouth. The, mm-hmm. A race horse? Or a, gift a, gift horse. Oh, a gift horse. Don't shoot a gift horse in the mouth. In other words, you know, don't insult somebody who's given you something. Yeah, no. Oh, right. yeah. She has, she has, you guys, can no, you think of any I more just, off the I spot? I just rolled off of our parents' tongues. And well, we, you just say them, you don't even realize. Rolling them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I feel like a lot of my uh, personality was also shaped by them. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> and that's Especially why Mickey. that's why on on today's scary. episode, this is this is episode 10 by the way. I cannot believe we're already at episode 10, but I want to uh, like understand more of like who your grandparents are, like how they met, where they grew up. Like, I'm just so curious because they are such a big part of your life, mm-hmm. and I'm hoping that you know Griffin's grandparents and great grandparents can be a big part of his life as well. Yeah. Um. So I just want to I, I want to know more. Yeah. You guys have been married for over fifty, almost fifty five. Wait, did you say no? Almost, almost fifty six. Wow. Almost 56. In August, fifty six. Wow. And I was at your fiftieth uh, anniversary. Yeah, you so you grew up, or Abby grew up in Quincy, Illinois, which mm-hmm. is where you guys lived That's Abby's whole moved entire when life. We got married. But when you got married, you moved to Quincy yes. from. Colchester? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And Colchester, how many people live in that town? At that time, I think it was 1,500. Yeah, around 1,500. 1,500. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But now That's it's a tiny town. Now it's about 1,000, I would guess. Wow. Yeah. That is a very small town. So moving to Quincy must have been like moving to a big city. It was. We, we loved it. And it was 40,000 people? And they had a library. Yeah. and 42,000, something like that. Places to shop that you didn't know. You know we Walmart? Had, I don't think they had Walmart back then. Oh, really? Oh, really? No. Wow. Not 50 years ago. And so growing up, did you guys ago. did you guys know each other as kids or did you not meet later till high school? Like high how, school. How did you guys high meet? School. High, high school. school. Now, something about Papa is he's an identical twin. It's Terry and Jerry. Yes. Which is just such... Honestly, that's <laughs> made for like a movie series yeah. or like a book oh series. Oh, my gosh. Did your mom ever give you any explanation? She just liked the way they sound together? I never know. She didn't know she was having twins. She That's right. Yeah, That's she crazy. Know. Yeah. They didn't have sonograms. That's then. why I'm 20 minutes younger than Jerry. Wow. <laughs> wait, I said, wait, well, you have to your, tell the story. Here's your bouncing little boy. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> So nothing. she was giving birth, and she then that's when that's she found when she out. She found out she was going to have two yeah. kids. Oh my gosh! What in the world? Yeah. Was she Wait, huge or? I don't recall. <laughs> oh my goodness! She must I can't have been. imagine that. She was a tall lady, so she probably think about the shock. Well. Thinking you're having one kid, and then you yeah. end up having two. Yeah. Yeah, that is crazy. So then she didn't have time to think of another name. So of course yeah. it was just Jerry. She already named Terry. Jerry. So Terry. <laughs> wow, Jerry! And I just got it one Tom. <laughs> oh my gosh! And then she went on to have more kids after that. So she was yeah. Wow. We were actually a little freaked out with Abby being pregnant right now. We were we were scared that we were going to be pregnant with twins for the second pregnancy. We we're like we we don't know if we could do that. Well, so. that's what I was trying to. I was really interrogating Papa at Christmas time this year. I was like, Are you guys identical or not? Because it makes a difference whether oh, or not it's like. Oh, really. You, it's more no, genetic. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. I feel like you've almost got to be. You guys look yeah. pretty they identical. Really did look a lot alike when they were little. Yeah, they look very identical. But I guess there is science, right? Like if if your grandparents are identical twins, then that means that you're more likely likely to have twins, correct? I think so. Is that why we we're worried? <laughs> no, I don't know. It said on the birth certificate one of two. One of That's two. That's what it said. It don't say. Wow. You'd probably have to get tested. To oh, figure yeah. it out because yeah. I guess you, if you didn't have a sonogram, you wouldn't know. Mm. That's crazy. Well, it's it's a plus, number of placentas. Twins would be in one, and yeah, wow. fraternal would be in yeah. Each. So 
being at the same high school, like how many kids are we talking well, at this high school? Because Abby and I went to schools. I think I think we had like over two thousand kids. One hundred and sixty-five. One hundred and sixty-five. Like, I think there was like forty-two in my class. Oh, gosh. What? Yeah. So, Grandma, this wow. is kind of a juicy question. Ooh. Were you ever attracted to Jerry? No. <laughs> <laughs> it must be so weird being married to an identical twin, though. I, I know you must think that. I know it must seem that way, but no, their personalities were very different. That's so yeah. interesting. Yeah. I, that would weird me out if you had an identical twin because I find you very attractive and it'd just be weird to see your twin. Like, I don't know, like that, uh, that would be weird. It really, it isn't, it was, I can see where you would think that, but it's, it isn't true. That's wow. funny. They're such different people. Oh my goodness. That's funny. In high school, did you, or like growing up, did you guys ever play jokes, like identical twin jokes? I remember one, I think it was even the first grade. We used to trade seats all the time in school. Yeah. Somehow we got caught. And you guys were just probably a bunch of troublemakers. Yeah, and meeting each other, like, was was there like <clears throat> a, a hallmark moment that you're like, ah, that was the moment that I saw my knight in shining armor. Like, was was there a moment where you you guys remember like that's where we kind of fell in love? Or, kind of. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It was on the on the porch of our uh, we had pastors. mutual friends, and we I hung out with them. They were his age. One was a preacher's daughter that I you know went to church with all the time and. And the other one was Sylvia, who was a wonderful yeah. person. And we were all, and I know that something, they kept saying how they, they, they kept saying how they liked you. Yeah. So it made me pay, start paying more attention to him. <laughs> and that Your was, friends liked him, so uh, then you really? kind of jumped yeah. on board. That's funny. Yeah. But Terry didn't like your friends, he liked well, you. I think it was more of a friendship. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And this That's was, how old were you? Were you 16? Like, mm -hmm. Oh, you were 16. 15, maybe. Was I 15? Yeah. I well, 15. before that, you knew Papa, because didn't you say your small group went when Papa had polio? Because that's something big about your upbringing is that Papa actually had polio as a young teenager. 13. Yeah, 13. I, I, everybody in our town was very well aware of that. Really? Because, I mean, as horrendous as polio was at that time, I don't remember anybody besides you having it. No, not at that time. I mean, there there wow. must be somebody, but we didn't know him. I mean, it was, it was the talk of the town when he got wow. polio. Polio was just the most horrendous, scary thing. No, it's like cancer today, kind of. I mean, you know, yeah, it would strike, and you didn't know how or why, and there was nothing much you could do for it. But it's like scary things, like iron lungs and. Yeah, kind of talk about like what polio is. Yeah, when I'm I'm curious, so you got diagnosed with polio at 13 years old. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. And when and when that happened, was that how how did that feel? Probably really scary. Scary is right. Yeah. Yeah. I had a very high I fever. Had a, it, it starts like a flu symptoms and high fever, and then then the weakness starts. I mean, I fell a couple <laughs> times, and that's what. It affects your bones, right? Yeah, well, muscles mostly. Oh, muscles. Yeah. And so you're feeling all these symptoms, and mm -hmm. how long did it take you from the onset of the symptoms to then tell someone, like, hey, I'm not feeling so good? Well, my parents know it, but, we, you know, we just thought something would, uh, yeah. would pass. Yeah. yeah. But then after a couple of days, they, my mother called the doctor, and she said, he said, I'm pretty sure he has polio. So I went from Colchester to Peoria, Illinois, for a tests and that uh, began a seven month stay in the hospital oh my goodness yeah mm -hmm. so seven months are but you... how far is peoria from colchester and you're just uh, a kid it's probably around 90 90 mile wow and he wasn't your parents still had to work right yeah so then he was at the hospital by himself as a 13 right. year old yeah. holy cow yeah that's scary yeah it was scary it that's was. so your poor yeah. parents too they're yeah. probably worried sick and about they, you and wishing they could be there did a lot of traveling they'd back and forth on weekends when they could your and it's not like there sometimes she, my mother you? stayed had an apartment not far from the hospital she stayed for about six weeks in the beginning wow and she would she would come every day and this was before video games and like oh, i mean yeah. they didn't have a lot of tvs i'm sure like did you have a tv I in had your a tv room? oh you did but okay. video games i couldn't even move my hands Mm -hmm. the, only, wow. the only thing that I could move was my tongue, some, and my eyelids. So were you on a feeding tube and everything? No, I uh, only liquid food, liquids I could handle. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So were you in an iron lung at that time, no. too? Oh, you, were. you never one, had to there go. There was one outside of my room that I didn't know about. 
Really? Yeah, they parked one they outside. had it ready. What and what is? I don't even understand fully what the iron lung. Well, it just helps you breathe. There's a pressure thing that okay goes in and out. I got in one one time just to see what it was they're like. They're kind of they're really scary looking. Yes. If you look up a picture yeah. of them, it's like a big yeah big, like metal cylinder big tank big cylinder yeah. Mm-hmm. And then pretty much I feel like when people were in an iron lung, it they wasn't, didn't they couldn't get out. Yeah, really? that's where yeah. they lived the rest of their life. Really? Yeah. Once you go in, there's then no this, going out. Flu always very hideous. seldom to come out of. I feel like it'd be even scarier. I mean, getting that diagnosis alone is super scary, but then in a small town too. Yeah. yeah. And then also, like, we've had so many issues with our like medical bills and health mm-hmm. insurance. I wonder what I probably don't even know well, what that what, was like for your parents. The, total, the March of Dimes. It's called the March of Dimes, or what you know. Yeah. About. Kids would the, get these little cards in school with little slots. And you'd go home and say, and you know, put film. Everybody would film. People actually eradicated polio with money from that, just little bits of money from everybody, you know? Mm. The total bill for seven months wheelchair, braces, crutches, $5,000. Wait, what? It was the total bill. That was like. And March of Dimes paid. And March of Dimes paid the whole thing? Wow, March of Dimes is still around right now. But five thousand dollars back then, like th- we're oh, talking sure, about, was sure. this the fifties? That's a lot, yeah. Yeah, this is in the fifties. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that math 56. is. Fifty-six. I'm sure that's today. That'd be well over a hundred, maybe over two hundred thousand. Yeah. But then the fact that they paid that all—that's incredible. The neighbor, the the town was. I know they had fundraisers for him. You know. That's so sweet. And wow. you went with a small group to go pray for Papa at the but hospital. I was going to Bible school that summer. After he was diagnosed, I was in Bible school, and I remember Mrs. Nelson, Mrs. Nelson, you know, Melbourne. yeah, saying, you know, we need to pray for Terry Biswell. Wow. wow. Oh, so you didn't go to the hospital, no, but you all just no, prayed for him? No. The, uh, the, the college, we lived real close to a college in the next town, and that's, they, that, their basketball team went to visit you mm-hmm. because he and his brother were big basketball players. Mm-hmm. My uncle was in their, their uh, fraternity. They, were you able to play basketball after polio? No. Um, yeah, I guess what were some of the lingering effects that you had from that? It affected your legs? Yeah, I still have weakness in my legs uh-huh. and ankles. Mm-hmm. But uh, nothing depends. You're very mobile, so. Yeah. yeah. Always happen. Yeah. But in the seven months, in the seven months that you were in the hospital, like once, once that seven months was up, were you fully done with polio or did you still have polio? I was on crutches and still used a wheelchair and I went to school and I, and they would have a couple of children, a couple of kids help me up the stairs and help me down. Wow. It's because like schools weren't wheelchair accessible. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's That's changed a lot. And so how, how long from at um, that point on, like how, how long did it take for you to get fully back to normal, I guess, or or at least back to normal enough to where you could go up the stairs and do everything on your own? Oh, it took years. I mean, it took quite a, at least five years to get, I did do the PE classes as best I could at wow. that time. Mm-hmm. But it's still, once in a while, I, you know, I, my hands and things, I still think I might have a post-polio problem, but Oh, really? I've never been diagnosed with it. Wow. That's crazy. Do you remember seeing Terry at school? Like well, I was in the band, and I remember marching once. I saw him in his wheelchair mm-hmm. close to his, where he lived. And it was shocking because he he was so thin, you know. Yeah. It, it just kind of emaciates you to have something like yeah. that. And I, it was shocking to see him. Mm-hmm. Isn't it crazy, like, if you could tell that little girl then that you're going to marry him? <laughs> Yeah. That is, that's that going to be your husband. I know. That's so weird. How wild is that? Did you guys have air conditioning back then, by the way? No. no. You didn't have air conditioning? No, we didn't have air conditioning. What? Well, Papa remembers when the first pe- people in town got the first TV. Yeah. And then when oh. they got the first color TV. Yeah. What? Yeah, our neighbors got a TV, and we'd go over there and watch the fights. Boxing. Watch <laughs> fights? Boxing. Boxing on Saturday Friday big, night. I, wow. It was boring as a Dickens, but I love the commercials. They were so funny. The commercials were funny? <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. I Did you say going... bored as a Dickens? <laughs> See, that's what I say. <laughs> that's so natural to say. I remember going uptown to the only appliance store in town and watching TV through the window. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. Yeah. They were had kind of like, 
I feel like you guys had a movie relationship in high school because you guys wouldn't would always go on Friday nights for pizza dates. Yeah. Yep. That's I, sweet. we could go to the show, eat pizza, and buy a couple dollars worth of gas for five dollars. <laughs> oh my! What gosh. a steal! Yeah. Sometimes me and my friends would, all right, we'd look in our pockets, we'd come up with seventy five cents and get seventy five cents worth of gas. <laughs> oh my! It <laughs> actually would be enough to. It's only like 25, 75 cents a gas could get you somewhere. 25 cents a gallon. Oh there my go. gosh. Yeah. We need to go back in time. Yeah. <laughs> what did you guys do for fun back then? Like what was, what was the it thing? Well, she roller skated. I didn't oh yeah. Roller, much skating. roller skating. That was about it. And I was, had a roller skate. The lovely people ran it. There was afternoon skating for the younger kids. And then Sunday night, I mean, Saturday night for older kids and, and he, he, there was a bowling alley upstairs, and he set pins for that. Set pins up the stairs, and then she'd skate a while and come up and visit me. Wait, wasn't it true that they wanted twins to set up the pins? Am I totally wrong? You're totally wrong. I thought you told me that. <laughs> no, but he, my brother did set pins, too. You guys were the twin pin the setters? Twin pins. <laughs> Maybe that's just where I got it from. That's so classic, like roller skating, working at yeah. a bowling alley. So You're cool. a good bowler. Oh, I used to be. You still are. I want to see some pictures. I, I just saw pictures from my great grandpa's like younger years, and it was crazy seeing all the cars, like everything. Just, I mean, mm. it was back in the day. It was back in time. Papa like, kind of looked like Elvis back in the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's and it's funny too seeing like all the trends that come back, right? Because like bits and pieces from the past end up coming back and become popular again. Different mm. hairstyles, like it's it's just it's yeah, fascinating. Yeah, the sixties were great. I mean, the hairstyles and the clothes were darling really the yeah. flip oh yeah that is cute that's so cute that's still a cute hairstyle and who was the president when you guys were going up uh I would, eisenhower that's and, my that's one i remember he was wow yeah and he was very respected because he'd been a general in the war oh really yeah. uh-huh which and, war and was you know that it's so funny there was not the political divide then that there is now you did really? whoever was president you respected him really mm -hmm. And you yeah. didn't you didn't diss the president. You he was an important person. He was yeah. somebody to respect. Wow. Mm. That is that is sad how I think in recent years things have gotten so, you know, nasty on both sides. Mm -hmm. And it, I don't know. That that's really interesting. So people weren't as like aggressive towards people in power back like, then. Like so divided. Yeah. Right. Oh no. Oh no. I don't mm. think no. Wow. John Kennedy was uh president when Who? John Kennedy. Yeah. Just be, while we were, you know, in college age. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And Holy. you guys remember when he was assassinated? Yeah. Very clearly. Where where were you? Like, what were you doing when you found out that JFK was Wait, assassinated? You, you were you were first? Well, I was, uh, I was driving a Pepsi-Cola truck at that time, and I was uh, delivering Pepsi at a gas station in Macomb when I got the news that he'd been shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Holy cow. And I was in college. I was at the laboratory school where you, we made observation. I was waiting to make an observation in a class. I was just standing against the hall, and I noticed the body language of like a, a science teacher and a janitor were talking, and they were one was just shaking his head like this. And I just, I just observed the body language. It was all different. It wasn't normal. And I thought something's going on. And finally, somebody told me the president had been shot. It was oh my so gosh. Unbelievable. And that my next class was American history. Wow. And so it was very interesting to hear the professor talk about it. And and then we watched TV all the time because there was all kinds of, the TV was just filled with all the information. And then, of course, wow. the man who shot him was killed. Was it that fall? Oh, my gosh. I looked up some dates I when I was oh. researching this. 1963 is when it happened, when mm. um, Lee Harvey Oswald was JFK. shot. Wow. It, like, wasn't it that weekend or something? They arrested him. Well, I don't remember when, but not too long after that, then somebody went into the jail and shot him. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I yeah. didn't even know that. Jack was that Ruby. just the craziest time? Was, was everyone Jack just Ruby Jack shot, Ruby shot him. Lee Harvey Oswald. Was everyone just terrified of, like, what was going on because it seemed so chaotic at the yeah, time? It was very a very strange, hard time. Very sad. Mm -hmm. And in 1963, sad. so you were in college, you were driving a Pepsi Cola truck. How old were you guys? Well, I was I in was, my early 20s, I guess. I was 20 in 63. I was 20. I was 19, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
And then yeah. after that, you went on to be an elementary teacher. How long did you teach? 34 years. So you were in school for wow. education then. <laughs> and then you taught for 34 years. And then Papa was a carpet layer. I went to business school to begin with. How, oh. long, how long did you go to business school? <laughs> I went school? to business school and I was a... And he had a job as a bookkeeper for a furniture company. Yes. And we got some good furniture when we were first married. That's nice. But and some then benefits. their carpet layers at that time were all in their 60s. So <laughs> I began laying carpet. There you go. So, so are, we, are we the only college dropouts in the room right now? Our, our ladies finished school and we didn't? Well, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> how, wait, how long did you go to college for? One year. Uh, okay, one year. I went to business school after well, that. Well, Grandma, you got your master's, didn't you? Uh huh. But yeah. not right, not right after I got my bachelor's. Your dad was the, like, the boys were like nine and twelve when I went back to. to get that wasn't that. very common. I feel like for women to first of all go to college. Then was it? Were you the first college-educated woman in your family? Yes. Yeah, and then especially for you to go on to get your master's. All, all the women, all the teachers were doing that because that's uh, how you, you know, get higher on the pay scale. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my, you, and you my, mother was a, my mother was my mother was a teacher too. Was a teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did she do elementary too? She had to quit yeah. when she got married because they weren't didn't keep, be married, married women couldn't draw a salary that. Wait, what? what? Yeah. Wait, 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 hold up. If they you were a married woman you, and a teacher, you, you know, had to quit? Because it's, the jobs are paid by the taxpayers. They didn't think it was right for... They wanted the jobs for the men was for the men war, to support their families. The so and, if you're yeah. a woman as a teacher and then you get married, you could just you, be gone because done. they want to give the jobs to men. Yeah. Well, that's Holy crazy. cow. Mm-hmm. You're done. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And that was just completely normal back then. Yeah. Wait, why though? What? Wait, because they wanted... They didn't want to take up a man's job, but after the war, the men started coming back. They needed the jobs. Oh. And the war you're, you're talking about is Vietnam? No, it'd be World, World War II. II. Oh, World and, War II. And the Korean. Hey, real quick, if you haven't already hit the like button and subscribe, please do that right now. It would really mean the world to us. It actually helps us out a ton. It tells the algorithm to push this episode out to more people. So go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe. Thanks for doing it. Okay, now back to the episode. Because you guys were born, I, I think, when the the World War II ended, right? Pretty much. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was still going on when we were born, but a couple of years later, I think. Over. Um, we just, I remember people talking about being rationed in the, yeah. during the, year, uh, the war years. And it was a very, those were very patriotic times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's amazing how, like, when a country goes through something so challenging, how people have to band together and support each other and mm-hmm. love one another. I feel like we're very patriotic because of our background and we appreciate veterans oh yeah oh my gosh yeah because you couldn't be drafted because you were right you had polio mm-hmm. but then were your brothers worried yeah, about jerry my brother jerry went he oh, went your brother he was went. in the air force, the yeah. force. In, yep. in vietnam no prior to oh the korean war he didn't go to war no oh, the, okay. the korean war was way over by then oh but what was the draft for like what why was there a draft it was just, oh, he wasn't drafted. He he enlisted, didn't he? Yeah, but oh, okay. before he was so before he was drafted, they had a lottery system. Your birthday, they went down on yeah. every birthday. They p- pulled a number for everybody's birthday. Oh, and, and then it was Vietnam. Was so you got, find out on your birthday? No, I think the Selective Service sent you a message. But oh, wow! If you know, you could be anywhere from one to three eighty six, and if you if you was in the top fifty, you probably wouldn't get drafted. What was the sentiment like during that war? Because I remember in history class learning about it and learning about the people protesting the war and then how people were sent over and they were, uh, it was like against their own will. They were drafted. They had to go. And then they come home after, you know, fighting for what they feel is their country because their country made them go fight in Vietnam. And then they have all these people like spinning on them and mad at them for going over. I there. think like, it was all political. So. You know what? I didn't have a good perspective on it until I got a lot yeah, older. We were, really? I'm yeah. not kidding. I something about when you're living through it, you you hear things on the news, you yeah. hear people talking, and I'm sorry to say I didn't quite know what to think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But but now I look back and my heart aches for those soldiers who came home and were not honored. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad they have the honor flights now, and mm-hmm. so 
they can get some yeah. recognition for what they did for our country. It totally. was a hideous war. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your chances of dying were so high when yeah. you went if you were drafted. A friend we know we was had the Agent Orange. He had cancer. Ah. Oh. Due to that, we just went to his visitation not too long ago. Wow. Wow. I'm curious too because you guys lived through the civil rights movement as well. Um, and Abby and I, we were recently in Memphis, Tennessee. And we went to this yeah. museum um, to learn more about black history, and it was an incredible museum. Um, was, what was the name of that museum again? I'm, I'm totally, I'm drawing a blank right I'll now. I'll find it right now. But the museum was built at the shot that Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. Mm-hmm. And like walking up to that spot, I just, I got chills. Because I, I mean, it was, it, it's it the looked National like Civil Rights Museum. The Na- it's called the National Civil Rights Museum. You walk up and you see this motel, the, the yeah, Lorraine I've seen Motel. That motel. And you feel like you're transported back into the '60s. Mm-hmm. You've seen all the pictures. And I'm like, I'm like, wow, this is really cool. Like, you're, we're like, it's like, it's like we're in the '60s right now. And then I notice like this memorial on the wall, and I notice this like right balcony. Above the door. Yeah, right on the door. And I'm mm-hmm. like, no. That is the I'm balcony. Like, yeah. I, I'm getting chills right yeah. now. Just thinking about. It. I'm like, no, there's no way. It does send chills because you're just like, this is literally where it happened. Mm-hmm. Like, this is where he was shot. And the guy who shot him was from Quincy. Wasn't he it? went to school in Quincy at one really? time. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not a good piece of Quincy's that's, history. No, that's that's so 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 sad. And you guys grew um, up in that whole era. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Like did, growing up in that era, and then like looking back to that movement now, what? Yeah, what is that like? I guess. It, it was, was ugly. It was it was horrible, and and again, I know I didn't begin to I didn't fully comprehend it until it, not too long ago. I was looking at it, the old the movie of the Help. Yeah. And mm-hmm. It it is heartbreaking how those ladies were treated yeah and i know it's true because my relatives on my mom's side were memphis tennessee area really yes and um that's why i've, I've been to elvis's house and to lorraine that hotel by that hotel mm-hmm. and everything and i and i i saw the way my aunt and uncle as a certain aunt and uncle that i had treated the black help and it was i was shocked yeah. I was shocked. Yeah. So it was almost like ba- even back in the day, you people you would go down south and you would see, you could just see this big oh, difference in the way people were treating yes. other, you know, people of color. Like that's Yes, and then but we in the north thought, oh, we're not like that, but you know, in some ways we were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, again, age gives you perspective. Yeah. I feel like we're living through a lot of like big history right now in the past oh. couple years. It's like I wonder how our perspectives will change on these things that are happening, like, mm-hmm. as we get older, too. Totally. And, like, as we can look back on it more subject or more yeah. objectively. Yeah. Because yeah. it's hard it, when you're it, hearing things from all different sides and yeah. everything is biased. You're kind of like, well, like, yeah. I don't know how to actually feel about this. Yeah. I just, like, thinking about how I, I, the people back then that really stood up for civil rights, that must have taken some serious they courage. Were, uh, they some were heroes. serious courage. Yeah, they were. True heroes. Because... Uh, yeah, that's just so selfless to put your life on the line for a movement it to, is. to, you know, have a better world for, thank for everyone. Thank goodness they did. And thank goodness mm-hmm. they did, seriously. A lot of them paid a very heavy price for that yeah. in their lives. Speaking of the 60s, too, I, I was just thinking about this. You guys were alive when uh, Neil Armstrong walked on the moon for the mm-hmm. first time. Did you guys yeah, watch that yeah, on live yeah. television? Yeah, yes. I think we were married. Ed and I along. And I must have been. Was, it must have been in the summertime because I saw it on TV. Yeah, we had it on TV. Again, the television brought everything right wow. into our home. Yeah. We had a black and white TV at that time. We did. That's wow. cool. Did other people have color and you guys had black and white? Pro- yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Being a carpet layer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was that not the coolest thing? Like seeing a, a guy on TV walking on the moon? Was that yeah. crazy? Yeah. It was unbelievable. Hey, I think? don't think you really realized it at the time, you know. When you get to thinking about it. That's just awesome. Oh, That's yeah. crazy. I mean, that happened over 50 years ago. Did you ever look up at the moon and think somebody <laughs> went up there and hit a golf ball? Yeah, Matt <laughs> Matt literally says he wants to go to the moon. I think it'd be day. cool. I'd love to. I'm, yeah. I'm happy right where I am. <laughs> oh, me too. I heard you sending him to the moon. <laughs> yeah, honestly, some days I want to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But- yeah. yeah, you guys have lived through some crazy history. We have. Who knows what you got left to experience? True, no. This is very true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I, I don't want to get stay on these like negative topics, but like the Cold War too. I was just thinking about this. The Cold War went on from like I think somewhere in the '60s till the the 1990s. I don't know the exact dates, 
But was that weird too? Because I remember in high school, we were learning about the Cold War in history class. And we were like, I was taught that they would have kids go through drills of we like, did. in case like we were bombed or nuked yeah, or something. Did. I can remember getting it under my desk. Under your desk. Get oh under my our gosh. Desks. Like your desk is going to shield you. I know. <laughs> it keeps you from flying glass. Is that probably it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We had drills. Even when I was teaching, we had drills. What? Yeah. What? Like bomb drills where you, you just have to train kids on how to protect themselves in case there's a bombing from Russia or I something. Know, I know to stay away from the, the glass. That was definitely. Wow. I remember. Maybe it's a tornado drill. Yeah, I think it was tornado yeah. drill. <laughs> well, just, isn't it crazy? Now we yeah. have drill. drills for shooters, like active shooters oh, in schools. That was never a thing back then, right? Never. No. I do remember after Col- uh, Columbine, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Cal- we started having, telling us if we were on the playground, run zigzag yeah. to shelter. Wow. It's yeah. got to be so hard as a teacher, like, it, describing that to kids. And, like, that has to be... It is so hideous now what goes on in this country. Mm-hmm. It's disappointing. So you guys grow up, and then this new thing called the Internet comes out. Like, what? do you do you remember the first time you ever saw a computer? Do you remember the first yes. time? Oh, you do? Oh, yes. They were huge, right? Yeah, they were. I remember we had one in school first, and a lady sat beside me to help me. First thing... I had a piece of paper and pencil, and I said, okay, how do you turn it on? <laughs> so I wrote down, push the button on, you know, whatever. I, I wrote everything down, she told me. Wow. And then, um, you know. How big was it? It was about like that. And it was, wow. very, it was real deep. Oh, yeah. And was this in college? This was in I was teaching. Oh, while you were teaching. Oh, so even in yeah. college. So there you were, were no- using typewriters. I used wow. to typewriter. When I was going to college, I had to do multiple, co- you know, I had to do like four copies. I used a that many sheets of paper and then i had carbon paper behind them wow Wow. (laughs) didn't the computer when you worked at the college wasn't it bigger than that though that you had there was a there was computers at the college and especially in the library but i did i did my are you mean bachelor's degree and i didn't have them then but my master's degree they did but uh they you put a telephone on them remember i think i don't know I was. I well, never have been good made, with technology. I think then probably computers were more for like the technologically advanced, yes. and now they've made them accessible yes. to right. everyone. Yeah. Because right. the first computers used to take up like a whole room. Yeah. Like oh, they, see, now I did work in the data processing office when I was in college. Yeah, and it had it was in the basement because they had to keep them cool. It was it was <laughs> papers. Wow. It was cards with punch holes in them, and I did a punch. I typed punch. What? Type, yeah, I did. I, I kind of forgot about that. And now I, look at you now. You're Googling on your phone all day long. I am. I'm proud of you guys, honestly. Like, in some ways, I think your grandparents might be better on their phone than my mom. I don't know. Sometimes grandma oh, sends me some blank texts. I'm terrible. I'm Papa, the you're good. I've got hats. Sometimes. Ask Blake. Of... He'll tell you different. Well, sometimes you need a little... Yeah, grandma. Okay. Can we talk about you sending <laughs> pornography to Oh, your no. Phone? Oh, no. That was a, it was hacked. It, it was happened a... multiple times. It was a virus, right? She, yeah, I guess. I opened oh, it up no. to something I shouldn't have, but now I'm real cautious about that. Oh, no. <laughs> I learned the hard way. <laughs> Did you send it, like, to your church small group or oh, something? I don't know. You sent something to me, oh, your God. granddaughter. You sent something to Abby? Oh, she grandma I'm so sorry. sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> I just know if it's coming from grandma, I'm going to probably not click on oh, it. Oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> I don't think you know how to send a link anyway, so. <laughs> Links. Yeah, I know how to click on a link. No, you know how to <laughs> click on them. <laughs> That's my true. my favorite I is you like, clicking. If your friends get hacked, they'll send you that message like I'm stuck in the, in so and so country and I need you to send me a thousand dollars to help me. Buy and that. it's like, oh, okay, like no. I know you got hacked. No, but the ones that get grandma are like, I can't believe I saw or I saw you. Is this you in this video or something mm, like I'm, that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the one that got me was that you know we I told you we had the mutual friends on the on the porch where we first kind of clicked yeah one of those girls that i loved dearly and she has died of breast cancer now Mm. but her daughter that's what got me it said you know her name i just found this video i just i I think you're in it and i 
So I clicked on it. Oh, that's and I awful. was going to see my friend. That is awful. Yeah. That's on me. As your granddaughter, it's my job to protect yeah. you against those hackers. So that, I'm going to take credit for that one. Well, I think I think a funny one, it's not necessarily a hacker that gets your grandparents, but I think your grandma shared one of these before where it's like a post on Facebook that says, if you believe in God, you must share this. And if you don't, then you don't believe in God. And then mm -hmm. I think like you, you would end up sharing it because you want to. Grandma shared a couple of those. <laughs> yeah. I have to unsubscribe to all those now because. Because I, I get a whole lot of those, and, and they just kind of, an, I love them. They're good, but they're annoying. They they're, just keep coming. They just keep coming. I think you, the, the internet shows you it's smarter now than you would ever believe. It shows so you smart. what you feed it, yeah. you know? Oh, my. So they, well, they've got you figured out, Grandma. They do. And I and honestly, I have, to be, I have to be real with you. I kept my Facebook log, your Facebook, logged in on my phone to just kind of monitor oh, good. what was going on. But I now I got logged out, so maybe you should re-log oh. in for me. So you guys lived at well, a show time. Show me how to do that. I will show you. Okay. You guys lived at a time without cell phones. Like, how, how wild was that? Who like used you to talk on the phone all the time? I annoyed his parents. On the cell phone, though. On the on, landline? On the home, on the landline? landline? You just yeah. talk on the yeah. landline? Cute. Landline. Aww. Yeah, we talked all the time. Was that expensive? Like, would they bill you by the minute, no. or how did well, that work? It went no. through an operator. There'd be an operator uptown in the building. And... Two four two Y, please. Yeah. Aww. Oh, so because cute. you wanted to talk that to the Biswells. I know. I know his parents must have. Well, your parents must have been the same way. I'd did they up. say, "Can you get your girlfriend to stop calling? So we need to free up the phone." <sighs> That's so I don't cute. Recall. I remember when we got the dials. Wow. Wait, oh. what was it before? Oh, it was the punch. Wait, you still have one of those phones in your basement. Oh, the we ring phone. We do. Yeah. It's an antique. But what, what was before the dial? Because the dial well, thing. It, it was just a regular phone with, you know, a, a phone. It literally is a separate thing. But it didn't thing. have any dial on it. You just, because you would just, the operator, when you picked up, the operator would say, number please. But the old really? phone had a crank on it. Before we got the, one of those. Yeah, those are the, were and before. You, and the one there, I'm talking there about. might be on a party line and you'd pick up the phone somebody else would be talking oh my god a three-party <laughs> line and, and they people, would listen and people would, would Pe spy. people would pick it oh <laughs> in a small town that's, that's gotta cause some drama started. yeah that's did. where gossip started <laughs> yeah. oh now it's on social media yeah yeah, yeah. that is You're so right. funny yeah. that's kind of really sweet though that you guys were talking on the home phone and matt and i we talked for hours oh. on facetime we talked a lot. yeah well, we would keep a FaceTime call going all night. We would talk and just keep <laughs> we chatting. We also wrote notes. Aww. We did. We did I a, lot, asked, a lot of note writing. I asked Grandma last night at dinner. I, or no, was that at dinner? I asked you and I was like, is Papa romantic? And she said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Papa, you are romantic. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's sweet. What are some of your like most memorable dates you went on? Like either oh, when you were married or when like you were dating? the proms. Yeah, and the dances. And yeah, Papa, you're a big dancer. We did dance when we were young. I was never very good. I was I'm... okay. You were so, you were fine. Oh no, but it was really sweet. You danced with me on our wedding. Yeah, you remember that? That's so yeah. precious. I can't tell you how he worried about that. You Aww. were worried. Oh, he was. You didn't. Like I that. almost didn't go. Yeah, he almost said, "I can't do it. I can't do it." <laughs> Let me tell you, all the men I danced with, except for Matt. Uh, my wedding, we're nervous. You, my grandpa, and my dad was probably the most nervous of all. But they all did but, it for me, and they yes. showed how much they you loved know what me. helped? He took his shoes off because it was was that it? Was you it were barefoot. It? He was in his no, stocking, stocking sock feet. So that, that's cute. That was how he could help, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, I cool. have I have kind of a stupid question to ask. What is parking? Like you guys were talking about dating, <laughs> like growing up dating, and I don't know, back in the Let's day. Let's not what go is, there. You said you weren't going to ask Let's any personal not questions. Go oh, there. is parking? I, is parking a bad term? I didn't. I don't even know. Not if you're parking. <laughs> <laughs> Now what? you've crossed the okay, line. I don't want to cross the line. We're not going to talk I, about parking. I just want to know. Okay. Uh like, oh, there he goes. He won't shut up. It, just, just answer this. You, you can just. You can I just don't do, think so. You can just nod your head. Is it more than kissing? Is, is we're parking not going more there. than? Oh. <laughs> we're not going there at all. Grandma has a hard boundary. A hard boundary. We're not talking about parking on this podcast. I have podcast. boundaries. <laughs> I have boundaries. So, but like. Speaking of, I, I don't know. Oh, see, he won't let it go. I'm not. I'm letting it go. go. We're moving, moving on. on. We're okay. moving on. Okay. I'm curious. Did you guys have a drive-in? Like, would you go to the drive-in movie and and you yeah, know? Yeah, we did. Go we to watched the movie, movie didn't we? Ann? You would? Would you watch the movie? <laughs> we watched the whole movie. I love movies. 
<laughs> Grandma Abby, does love movies. Abby and I used to turn on a movie, and, and we probably didn't watch the movie. <laughs> One time, I was so engrossed in a movie. Well, this I was with my folks this time. My dad went and got some peanuts, and I assumed they were shelled, but they weren't. And I was eating, I was putting the shell in my mouth. <laughs> shells and all. And I was thinking, I was eating shells and all. I was, that's how engrossed I was in the movie. Grandma loves movies. <laughs> yeah, I loved them. And back then, were movies ever on TV or was it really only at the theater? Only well, at the theater. Yeah, really? The theater, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there were no that's DVDs? That's why they were so precious. No, 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 no. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Was, no, was did they play they, Gone with the Wind? I, I heard that like Gone with the Wind would kept getting rerun over and over, back in the day. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't remember movies. where I at first the movies. Saw that. They kept playing that one. That's crazy. At the movies. Was, was there a, a was movie good. that's like super memorable that came out back in the day that you were so excited to go see, like maybe Grease or I don't know. That I know. probably was the movie I kind of remember was with Humphrey Bogart, and and uh, oh gosh. I wish I could come up with the actress's name, Catherine Hepburn, maybe. It was he was a was a pilot of a some kind of a boat. It was like in Africa. Uh huh. PT one hundred five or no, something. No, African Queen might have oh, been the, the name African of the movie. Queen. Okay. It's really old, <laughs> and it was black and white, of course. And, wow. And it was I can't really remember very much about it. But it was a very good movie and. That might have been where I ate peanuts, shells, and all. <laughs> so peanuts, peanuts were the thing. Like you wouldn't have oh, popcorn. Cracker Jacks. You'd oh. have oh, so there was no popcorn at the movies back then. Oh, You'd yeah. have peanuts yeah, and yeah, Cracker Jacks. Well, at the drive-in. Oh yeah, there's popcorn at the movie. <clears throat> oh, at the theater. Okay. Yeah, at the theater. Have you guys ever been to drive-in? Mm -hmm. We have. have They're yeah. always double features, aren't they? Mm, I guess. I can right. never stay awake for the second one. They had one about 45 minutes away from our college in town. Springfield. And so we'd drive 45 oh, really? minutes and go watch a drive-in movie. And it, was, it was cool. It was a really yeah. not, neat experience. It were. Yeah. That's really fun. Yeah. But I just can never stay awake for the double feature. I don't remember. I don't remember double feature. I just remember one, don't you? Yeah, just one. Oh, and really? so could people get away with way more back then, though? Because there was no cell phones. There was no tracking where people are at. Like, my parents, get when away. I was a kid, they could see my location at all times. They're like, you need to have oh. your location on on your phone. So I'm sure people back in your day could get well, away with... Well, probably in a small town, too. People back on, when they did something wrong, they got punished. Oh, really? Yeah. They got punished. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you, what do you think about kids today? Because people got spanked in school when you guys were in school, right? Yes, they did. Did you ever have to wow. wear a dunce cap? Oh, they, that, oh that was a back of a little <laughs> okay. farther than that. <laughs> You're going way back. Hey, I think it's crazy that they <laughs> could smack kids in schools. Well, they, they didn't smack them in the face or anything, but they, they would. I remember a teacher broke a yardstick on, on, on yeah, I remember that, too. On, on a boy. Oh, my that's, gosh. That's crazy, though. Yeah, yeah. Wow. we got our name in first grade. The teacher had a box on the chalkboard. If you did something wrong, you she put your name in that box. When I was in first grade, uh, the teacher was playing a song on the Victrola. Is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a thing you crank. Anyway, and it was a real bouncy little song. And I, the girl across the, the sit across from me, we joined hands and we were going like this to the music. The teacher gets up. And she goes to the board and she writes our names in the box <gasps> because we we're doing this. Oh, school was very strict. Wait, what? You were just trying to have fun in school and you got in trouble. <laughs> and she remembers that because she was a good kid. And I know I was, I, I told my parents, I got my name on the board. Oh. Were they disappointed with you? And they said, well, why? And I told them they, they thought, oh, yeah. Yeah, they sort of blew it off. Oh, my goodness. Papa, you got into some trouble in the day. No. <laughs> got into some trouble. I don't recall any trouble. Do you? Oh. Well, he threw. He and his brother threw rocks at cars when they were little. Oh, what? Know. My aunt told us. What? <laughs> we lived right on the highway. Oh. You were throwing you know, rocks at cars. They were, rocks. they were like, were you five? Probably about young. five. We were in the sitting in the gutter, firing cars as they went by. <laughs> Papa was grandma's paper boy, like for their family mm -hmm. growing up. I run across the yeah. flower bed on my bicycle. <laughs> That's cute. Did you have a crush on her even then? No, Didn't know her. we didn't know oh, each okay. other. I was going to ask you guys, this is kind of unrelated to what we're talking about, but since you were talking about how it was so quick that you guys like fell in love on that porch, like, does that make you believe in love at first sight? I, I think things can, sparks can fly at, at, at a time, you know. That's But sweet. then, I mean, I heard of a, we had sparky. kind of a... <laughs> We had kind of a, 
<laughs> off, on again, off again relationship those through the years. But now you're stable as can be. That's that's so cool. How, how yeah, how you've been together fifty six years, or about to be fifty six years. But then in the beginning, it was it was a little rough around the edges. Oh yeah. Because that's funny, because now, like, if we were to talk to a couple now, if things were rocky, now I'd be like, oh, it's only going to get harder, so don't. Well, but you guys are the opposite of that, so. Yeah. That's hilarious, tell. though, because there's couples that do everything right. They check off all the boxes, and then their relationship doesn't work out. They divorce, whatever. And then there's couples that do everything wrong, and they're, they, they live together happily ever after. I mean, you guys, if we probably would have known you back in the day and seen you guys, you know, get back together, then break up, get back together, break up, get <laughs> back like together. We've been like, you guys need to example. not get married. But look at you. I mean, you got married. Well, and once we got married, we were committed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know. We we do believe till death do us part. Yeah. There you go. But I I was considered. <laughs> <laughs> I I but, no no. I like, feel so blessed that I like grew up with you guys like as an example of marriage and just like just an yeah. example of like family too. The what you yeah. guys value yeah. and you know, we, you know. We, yeah the Lord is gets the credit. Mm-hmm. That's awesome for godliness and helpiness. Proverbs three, five, and six. There you go. That's so we've we've talked we've talked a lot about the past. We've talked a lot about growing up. Which oh wait, by the way, I want to ask you this: What was that like when you got air conditioning for the first time? Was that just the best thing ever? We like to froze to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I remember the ladies in church used to wear sweaters all the yeah. time. But they could hardly adjust. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So you so you didn't like it? Like it was it was uncomfortable because you were cold all the time oh, then? No, we no, liked it. it. We liked it. Yeah. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was wonderful. And same thing with the TV. Did you guys just think the TV was the coolest thing ever? Yes. Yeah. It was yeah, I was in third grade when we got our TV set and I, it, it it just felt like somebody was in the room. I remember going behind the couch and hiding. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mean, it was like you couldn't get very much. You know, they, they we couldn't get we aerials didn't, at that time. Maybe one TV or two aerials channels. They, that the antennas they put up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we had to turn the, the. He had a rotor that you'd, you'd supposedly turn it to where you want it from the inside. Oh, It gosh. wouldn't work about half the time. You had to go out and t- turn by hand. <laughs> the satellites? Turn it by yeah. hand. No. Oh. Aerial. Oh, I don't even know what yeah. that is. There was an aerial on the roof. That, picks up the this signal. Thing turned oh, gosh. To pick up the signal. You, you said it earlier. We were talking about this. Like, what what would your advice be for young people? And you said Put your earlier, phones down, folks. <laughs> <laughs> put your phones down, Yeah, folks. put them down and live your life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just so crazy that you guys grew up at a time where when you were our age, there were no phones. There oh. were no social media. I mean, you had home phones, but you didn't have cell phones. Mm-mm. And not everything was recorded. Like, no. At, that must have just been so It was so, so much different. better. So much better. Yeah, In our was. younger life, we woke up every morning looking for a baseball game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean... We'd, let's go get so and so. Maybe we can get enough guys to play baseball. And in the summertime, that's all, that's all we did. Mm-hmm. Look forward to it every day. Mm-hmm. You're around people. Yeah. Outside. You I think that all has to I played outside. Affect your mental health. Well, yeah. Played jacks and paper dolls and. Paper dolls. I've never even heard of paper, paper dolls. Because now mm-hmm. people can be fully entertained completely by themselves, right. which is yeah. not how it's made to be. You're made to be around people, right. and. But you guys have phones. I mean, do you like do you like? Well, using Grandma's your phone? on the Facebook. <laughs> You're on the Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. kind of selective about my friends. Yeah, <laughs> that's fun. You guys are on. You guys are pretty with it with your social media, though. Yeah, but I can see where it can really rob you of a lot of time yeah you gotta yeah just stay off of it mm-hmm. it is sweet though that i know you guys watch a lot of our videos yeah um a lot of mm-hmm. times we'll go to your house and be like i just saw your recent youtube video and yeah uh, we do we watch oh, i just thought of something that was funny what one time we pranked you guys and we made a tiktok we were kissing on your couch in front of you guys oh yeah. my gosh and you know so many people were mad at us because of oh, that my they gosh. thought that that was incredibly disrespectful <laughs> But it's funny because it's like you can't in a like 30 second TikTok, you can't like explain your relationship with your grandparents. But like yeah. we're pretty off the cuff. With your I know. I went, I went and pulled the blind. Yeah. yeah you pulled had, the... But like we can PDA in front of you guys and you guys don't find that disrespectful or like you guys. Oh I, I don't gosh. know. You guys have a little bit of PDA sometimes. What's PDA? Public displays of affection. Oh. 
we're really close with you guys. We make jokes yeah. with you that probably other people wouldn't make with their grandparents. We're a lot, lot – we've – I mean, you guys pretty much raised me, so I have a lot <laughs> like both of you. I have Papa's wheeze, <laughs> and I have Grandma's sassiness. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I'm just worried that maybe one day I'm going to – well, not worried. I actually know that I'm exactly going to be just like Vicky when I'm 79. No, you're going to be – you're going to surpass me by so much. Oh, you are, no. Oh, yes, I, you, you are. You are an amazing You've woman. You've always been so bright. And oh. you – Grandma, you, you don't even know how many people you've touched with your life, though, because, like, I get messages oh. all the time from people saying, mm -hmm. like, your grandma is the kindest person. She rem This is something that is really, like, special about you is that you remember people's stories and, like, everything about them, their name, their families. Like, you remember people so well, and that means a lot for people to be like, I didn't think that she even remembered me, and you're like, I've been praying for you for years, and, like, you just are really, you're intentional. That's what you are. You're very intentional with people that are in your life. I have friends that are that are that way, and they are they inspire me. Well, I just hope I can become more like that. You guys mm. have the sweetest relationship. I just I just love having these conversations. I I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I had some some questions prepared for you guys about slang that young people use, and I want to see how good you guys are at knowing what the young oh. the young people slang is. I bet we don't know it. You guys ready? Okay, the first one would be if someone says, oh, that's so dope. What does that mean? What does that so dope mean? I don't know. Do you? I mean, it's so great. So Yeah. Good. Yeah, oh, pretty, yeah okay. it's pretty good. That means like Matt cool. Dope a lot. I say dope a lot. I'm like, this oh, is, that's dope. Like that's, is, that's, oh, yeah, that's cool. To good. me, dope is Dougs. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> well, that's also what dope means. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's what this, comes to my mind. What about if something's fire? Oh, that's fire. I have no idea. Do you? Something's hot. <laughs> it means it's like really good. Yeah, if I usually like with people use it in like a reference to food. Oh, really? But, like that yeah. food was fire. Huh. I mean, I've never heard of that. I not, wouldn't know what they're talking about. Yeah, what about if something hits different? It's, like if I listen to a song and I'm like, oh, that song hits different. I don't know. Make a guess. Hits different. You don't like it? Hits different. No, it's actually a good thing. So hits oh. different is kind of saying like, oh, that's that's good. Like. That's better a lot than better normal. than normal. Yeah. That's weird. Hits different. Makes no sense. Do you guys remember any <laughs> slang from back in your day? Do people say jiffy or stuff? Jiffy. <laughs> What's slang for? Jiffy. <laughs> I'll be jiffy. back in a jiffy. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. means quickly. But was that like something cool people said or? I don't No, you didn't have to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's kind of dorky. <laughs> I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> What if, it's normal. What if, um, what if someone says something and I go, oh, I'm dead. I say, I'm dead. You're, you're in trouble? <laughs> I'm in trouble. That's what I would guess it to be. Somebody, what? If dead. I say, I'm dead, someone says some. so somebody, uh, yeah, say they crack a joke and I go, I'm dead. I don't know. You gave a really big hint there. I don't think I did that's... Give, I gave a big hint. You don't get it? You didn't get it? Oh, that, no. It mean? means that you think it's hilarious. You think it's funny. Oh, like, no. I'm dead. I, those, that's so funny. The, I think all of these are weird. <laughs> Probably. They're so they are, weird. They really are when you think about I've it. I've never heard of them. Uh, to me, they're weird. Oh, my goodness. Okay, last one. What There's about... There's better ways to communicate. There's better ways? Yeah. Oh, you had your Hey, you slang. had your slang back that in the day. That made no sense. Don't make fun okay, of our okay, slang. Okay, okay. I can't think of anything, but we I guess we did. We didn't make it up. What about um, if... We, it's like, let's get lit. Oh, yeah. That's lit. I'm my mama. We lit. <laughs> Don't say that. I don't know. Do you? Know? I think that's a tick. Is that a TikTok? Yeah. That's 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 a TikTok I sound. I don't viral. watch TikToks. You getting watch lit TikTok? is normally like in reference to like getting drunk or something. Well, oh. I mean, it's like part like let's party or let's like, party. Or, yeah, it doesn't well, necessarily heard. mean getting drunk. I've it means like let's get day. lit. I let's mean, go. Really? Let's party. Back in the day, they said that. That guy was really lit. I've heard of that. Oh really? Oh yeah. So he loaded. It all comes back. Loaded. I, I've heard that. Loaded. I mean, oh, my drunk. goodness. That's hilarious. Well, I can't thank you guys enough for being yeah. on this podcast. Thank you so much yeah. for being on the Unplanned Podcast, yeah. episode 10. And just, you're the best. Yeah. And I'm so glad you come to visit, even though you guys don't like getting on I'm your planes. I'm leaving already. And leaving. Oh, yeah, I'm we're surprised. We're going to be back in a few Yeah, weeks. you'll be back. You'll be back. Actually, like two weeks. Yeah. We'll yeah. see you again. And yeah. Griffin we'll loves seeing you guys. Oh, and oh, Griffin. Oh, Griffin. You'll have to come visit us in Arizona more. 
this has been fun. Well, if yeah. you guys have not gone ahead and hit the like button or hit subscribe, it'd mean a whole lot to us. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, leave us a review. It goes a long way. And uh, matter of fact, I think we even have a review. Yes, I have a review to read from one of you did kind you, listeners. Did you actually find a review to read beforehand? Yes. Oh, you I did. Actually, okay. This one I wanted to read to you. Oh, really? Okay. The title is Want to Be a Wedding Guest. Wow. And so this podcast is honestly unmatched. It's super casual and funny, and each episode is intentional and has a purpose rather than talking about random things. I look forward to every Wednesday. I would also love to hear any marriage advice. I'm 21, get married in July. So it's very easy to relate to you both. I'd love to send y'all an invite if you have a mailing address. Wow. Wow. So this is from at Lauren O'Grady, future Mrs. Tremaine. That's so cool. So maybe you we'll able, be at your wedding. Are you able to fly though? <laughs> like if we wanted to go to this wedding, could you could we fly there? Oh, you dang. You might be too far along. We'll have to see the location. We'll have to look at, yeah, if we could drive, maybe it could work because I don't know if you can fly then. We'll at least send a wedding gift. But congratulations. Thank you so much for leaving a review and... Yeah. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next episode. And as always, three, two, one. Peace, Peace out, out, dudes. dudes.